I'm Simon, this is my wife Kim and we're selling Britkin. Are you worried about where you want to spend hurricane season? Why don't you contemplate Grenada? Yeah, we're going to talk about the top 10 reasons why we think Grenada is the best place to spend hurricane season. Grenada rarely gets hit by hurricanes. We spent a hurricane season up on the east coast of America and every single hurricane that came across, we watched it come across and come up and it was pretty scary. But now that we spent two seasons in Grenada, we can see the hurricanes coming, but almost always they, they are projected to go up before they hit Grenada. While you're here in Grenada, you don't have to stay in the same area. There's lots and lots of bays and a few marinas that you can go into. You can go on an anchor ball, you can go anchor, and there's lots and lots to do here. And not only is there diversity of anchorages in Grenada, you can also go up a few islands up north. And we do that a lot of the time. We sail non-stop. So we'll go maybe 24 hours north and then make our way down. Of course, during hurricane season, we are looking at the weather nonstop. If something starts coming, we shoot right down. Yeah. So this island really caters for liverboards during this season. Uh, there's weekly shopping buses, I think even two or three times a week and buses that go to the chandleries. And all you need to do is take your dinghy to a dinghy dock and the bus will take you around, get all your groceries, you come back and you've done your provisioning. Not only that, there are people that actually bring food and beverage to your boat. Yes. So you don't even have to leave the boat if you don't want to. <laughs> so here in Grenada, if you're worried about not being social, don't worry about that because every morning there's always something being said on the cruiser's net. There's also, every week there's a what they call a hash, which is a run and a walk through the bush, which is organized by the locals, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. There's things like dominoes, there's dancing, there's volleyball, there's, you know, hikes, there's all sorts of things that the cruisers organize. But you can also go for a walk, take a bus, rent a car. There's waterfalls, there's chocolate factories, there's rum distilleries. There's hundreds of little wonderful restaurants and bars and cafes. There's just tons to do and see. Yeah. Okay, so if you don't want to stay on your boat the whole season, there are some great places that you can uh, put your boat out. There's about three yards here. Also, the flight connections to the USA, Canada, and the UK are all excellent. Thunderstorms and extreme weather is pretty rare here. We spent time in Trinidad, and every day at, at noon there was a lightning storm, <laughs> and a lot of people we knew got hit by lightning. Believe it or not, we're only 90 miles north of Trinidad, and I have been here two years and never seen a thunder or lightning storm. We've traveled up and down the Caribbean many, many times, and the people here are just the friendliest people mm -hmm. that in the Caribbean that we've met. Everyone says hello to you, we feel very safe, even at night time we feel walking around and we've been to a lot of carnivals and the carnival here I think is the best. In the last section Simon indicated that it's safe and I just want to really drill that down. The only thing that happens here is that a dinghy goes missing every once in a while. If you've got kids there's loads of things to do here for the kids. They can go hiking, there's a movie night, they can go swimming, they can go treasure hunting on the islands, do whatever they want to do. It's really, really safe when they, for kids here. Also, they have a, their own radio net where they can communicate with each other and it's just fantastic to listen to that. Last year, we had uh, Halloween from boat to boat and there were 70 kids that were going. There were seven kids on our dinghy and they just had a ball, didn't they? I must say, it was a bit of a landslide. <laughs> The age group is from babies up to 16 and they just all mix together and it's just fantastic to see. So if you've got kids, it's a wonderful place. So Simon and I obviously think that Grenada is a fantastic place to spend the hurricane season, but don't take our word for it. Come to Britikin, join us for a week. Coming during hurricane season is it's non-touristy, it's really authentic, all the cruisers are here. You can meet and mix and mingle with the kids if you have children of your own. It really is a fantastic insight as to what 
cruiser life is like when you're not on the go all the time, but you still get out and go sailing. So it's a perfect mix of getting that sailing experience, but also seeing what it's like to be more stationary during the hurricane season. Okay, so if you would like more information about the Britain experience, click the link above my head, somewhere around here, and that will give you the information that you need to know. All right, also. that's it for today. Bye. Take care. Bye.